dear friends today as we all know we are here for the presentation and my topic for presentation is chemical reactions and equations first of all studying this chapter we have to understand what is a chemical equation so i will explain you what is a chemical equation A chemical equation is a chemical chain in which a substance reacts to form a new substance with entirely new properties. So for the chemical equation, we have to know their examples. So an example of chemical equation is burning of coal, burning of wood, or the changing of curd from wheat or from wheat to curd. For a chemical equation, there are reactants and products. For uh, for any any chemical equation, we have to know what is reactants and what is a product. Reactants are what those that undergo any chemical change are known as reactants. And products, the substances that form from any chemical equation or from the reactions, are called the uh, reactants. <laughs> This Mg and O2 are the reactants and this is the reaction, this Mg and O2, this reaction takes place and the Mg or new product is formed and this product is known as, this uh, substance is known as the product. For writing any chemical equation, we have to know some information about how to write <coughs> chemical equations. First of all, the first topic is this arrow. As we all know, when we are writing any chemical <coughs> equations, we are putting between the chemical equations and from the reactants and products, we are putting between this arrow. Do you all, do you know what is the meaning of this arrow? I will tell you. This arrow means that <coughs> reactants and products are different from. For example. From this, we understand that these reactions are both are different, reactants are different, and products are different. Next, these are some symbols like solid, liquid, gas, or aqueous symbol, which make us to understand that this substance is solid, liquid, gas, or aqueous. Example As for solid, G for gas. And alpha liquid. And KQ for aqueous solution. 
for x solid we will take this of b s to 4 Like B is here too. It is a solid. Next, gas H two. For H two, we will represent the symbol G, which means the gas. For L, H two O, liquid. And for the solution, we will take place the E Q. Next, third. Third is this arrow. This upside arrow. This shows us that any has formation has taken place. Fourth is the downside arrow. This shows us that any solid has been taken. Next fifth is the double arrow. This shows us that any reversible reaction or reversible change has taken place. Next six point. It is a heating or decomposition reaction. So obviously we are using this arrow, or this is done by a triangle shape, or upside this arrow we are putting or writing on the. This means the reaction has taken place in the presence of heat. Next Seventh is the catalyst formation. From this, we understood that the reaction has taken place in the presence of any catalyst. So this is the general information about how to write any chemical equations. Next is how we have to after writing the chemical equations, how we have to balance the chemical equations. So there are many steps how to balance the chemical equation. Step first. <coughs> first of all, for any each formula, we have to make a step by step boxes from each formula, so we can understand or separate that formula. So it is easy to make the balance with that step second. Now count the atoms in reactants and products, both sides.
from that end there are two mg and o mg have only one and o have two from this product side mg and o mg have one and o have one next step third Ng have one and O have two. Here Ng have one and O also have one. So here we have to balance. We have to take first who has the maximum number of atoms. Here the two for oxygen have maximum number of atoms. So from the product side we have to start to balancing that. From this we can see here have only one. So if we will add two more then it will become two. So I uh, putting here we have done the boxes. So if we will, without changing inside we have to put only outside the boxes. So we will, it will make easy to us. Outside we have to put two, this means O. Next. So for O it will be two and for Ng it will be also two in the product side. But in the second side O or O is have two, but Ng have only one. So in the right hand side also we have to put two. Then now see what will be happening. Ng also have two and O2 also have two. And here product said Ng also have two and O also have two. So thank you. This is my presentation of this day. Have a nice day. Okay, we're going to use your voice.